Hi, uh, today I'd like to demonstrate a couple of features of Liberty Basic that could easily go unnoticed. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of scripting in the IDE in the editor, uh, show you how to do some cool things here. I'm um, going to show you how to uh, write a script that launches in another text editor and loads up the program that's in the Liberty Basic editor. And then I'm going to show you how it works so that you can use that editor save the file, come back to Liberty Basic and have that file instantly loaded into the Liberty Basic editor, all the changes you just made in the other editor, and then you can run it. And what this will let you do is, let's say you have a favorite code editor and you want to use it with Liberty Basic. This will show you how to do that in a very easy way. Okay, so first, I want to show you a, a small script that I wrote. Okay, what this does is it runs a, an application that I've installed called Programmer's Notepad. And it, it runs it with the complete file name of the file that's in the Liberty Basic Editor, which is what this function does here. IDE file name passes the complete path and file name for the current file in the Liberty Basic Editor. So then what this does is the run statement here passes the path of the executable here, and then that also includes the complete path of the file that we're editing, and then it will open up and run. So in order to make this work in Liberty Basic, you have to add it as an external program. So if you've ever wondered what this item is under the setup menu, external programs, what this lets you do is add a script that you can run from this menu here. So you can see I've already installed it. I'll show you how that works. Once you've got this program running, I mean written and working, then what you can do is you can go to the run menu and click on make TKN file from the BAS file. Then that will save it in a form that can be added as an external program. I've already, I've already done this but I'll replace it. Just say yes, replace it. Okay. Now, um, when you go over here to the external programs window, then what you would do is you would click on new. So you click on new and then you can type the name of the program. I, I typed open file in programmer's notepad as you see right here. And then once you've done that, then you put the name of the TKN file here. So, programmer's notepad.tkn. I'll demonstrate to you how this works. So, let's say I'm editing um, of this program right here. And I say, oh, I want to use my favorite editor. I'm going to come up here I want to say open in programmer's notepad. And there it is. Okay, so I can edit the program in here and uh, do whatever it is I'd like to ch make changes. Now, if I come back here, I have to make sure that this setting here reload file on activate is set. So let's turn that on. I click on OK. Now if I make a change up here and say, oh, let's, let's just make it a really obvious one. We'll just change, we'll just add a little comment to the front of the program here. Okay. okay, now I save that. And when I come back here, it will reload automatically. There it is. Any change I made in Programmer's Notepad would automatically be loaded here. And then I can either press Shift F5, or I can pr click on the, the Run icon in the toolbar, or I can use the Run menu to run that program. So it's very easy. Then I just come back here, make more changes save them, come back here, it updates automatically, I run them. So, hope you found this useful.
Uh, until next time, have fun with Liberty Basic.